Hey guys, what's up? It's Zamara and today I bring a new video, of course, and it's going to be something that was inspired by just trends in general. Like anytime I hear about a new TV show coming out or a new movie coming out or a video game coming out and you know how some people get to it before you do? and some people just mind people telling them about it yeah so yeah this is going to be about spoilers um and i'm going to discuss why they don't bother me um for starters v very obviously because i am going to find out the conclusion regardless so I'm guessing I can understand why some people would mind it in the sense of keeping your original reaction genuine and your experience with the art firsthand. It's like sometimes when I have been told about how a movie is going to conclude, I'm anticipating that part that someone spoiled for me and it's never bothered me because i mean when i'm sitting at the theater or whenever i'm watching the movie i'm like all right something bad's gonna go down i can tell that and it's just i don't see why people make such a big deal about spoilers to the point that they get mad sometimes or i want to genuinely respect them but at the same time it's like I don't get it this was something that was written and scripted so I don't know I guess I guess it's it's really difficult to explain but I guess I don't sweat that too much um, and then watching the outcome yourself will always beat the way um, that somebody else voices it so like what i mean by that is okay you may explain to me everything that happens but it'll still give me the same level of excitement when i finally get to watch it for instance back in 2009 i was having a conversation with my then boyfriend about star wars and he was understandably shocked that i never got to it um, and really, I think the reason I never got to Star Wars was because my dad was an immense fan and my mom had to put up with him and his love for the saga. And what I mean by put up with him is that she didn't like it because the characters, for example, grossed her out. So I'm guessing she was keeping Star Wars away from the home. But if I would have had the chance to catch it on my own, she wouldn't have minded. It was just a matter of bringing that to the house which is strange um, because don't quote me as that's the reason I never got to Star Wars, but look at it as given that she was not very fond of them, I wasn't going to try to get myself into them. And if I knew that she wasn't a fan of it already, then you know I'm not going to try to bring her those memories back. But anyway, so he started explaining to me the plot and he was telling me about the stuff that happens in episode three you know the fate of anakin skywalker and i was like "Ooh, this scene sounds intense and although he was explaining it to me with good detail when i got to watching the film I had the same excitement and the same feeling as when he was telling me a story, if not more. So I guess it's just really a way of how you look at it and how you handle it. Um, and then I'm also not attached to fiction or any works like that um, to where my experience is ruined by knowing the events ahead of time you know what i mean it's like i can understand if you are like a diehard fan of something then it's 
it's like a Christmas feeling for you, I would assume. But for me, it's like I just don't give too much importance to something that doesn't deserve it. And let's face it, movies for the audience are a waste of time unless you are being educated by this. But I am not trying to discredit the fact that a lot of work goes into these movies and they cost a lot to make to entertain us. So, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm just cold and careless about this. I'm just saying why spoilers just don't bother me and why they don't impede me from enjoying my life. And then another thing that I can think of is um, someone will always forget to detail something that happens in the film and then you'll get to the movie and you'll be like, oh, my buddy didn't tell me that this was going to happen or they simply forgot to say it. So, you know, the whole thing cannot be spoiled to you unless someone is pretty much rehearsing the movie back at you or reading the script or something like that you know so yeah you guys i hope that um my thoughts on this make sense and like i said i don't mean to be cold i still respect everybody for their opinions and those who mind spoilers on my part i will respect you always but i'm just saying that I have met people who absolutely cannot stand to have something spoiled to them. And sometimes people talk to me and they're like, have you seen this? Oh, then I won't tell you about what happens. And I'm like, go for it. I don't care. Maybe by you telling me the spoiler, I may go to watch something that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten to because you're picking up my curiosity. So yeah, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm pretty sure I will return in a few minutes with a new video because I'm pretty creative right now and I want to get to talking because I have put this off for a while now. See you soon!